So first things first, I clicked edit to make sure that the sidebar is permanently on my home screen so that I can constantly see the widgets that I've created. So then we're going to go into the app store and download this app called Widgetsmith. Okay, so this is the app that we're going to use to create these customized widgets that you see on the home page. So I already have it downloaded and we're going to open it up. And they have three options. You can choose a small widget, a medium, or a large. Um, for what I did, I chose one medium and one small widget. I already have the widget that you saw on my homepage here, but I'll create another one so you can see what it looks like. You want to click on the default uh, widgets so that you can customize it to your liking. They have lots of different options. You can do events, um, tide clock, you can do a moon phases, the um, time of course, basically lots of different options. Here I chose the clock with a calendar on it and once you choose the style that you want you can then choose how you want to customize it. They have many different options to choose from, from font, background color, border color, um, basically anything and everything to customize that specific widget to fit your aesthetic. So I'm just going to choose the gray background with a white border as an example. So then you can see here that there are many other options and you can also choose a customized color if your specific color isn't shown there. So now that we have the widget, you want to save it. And I'm also going to show you an example of a small widget like you saw earlier on my screen. Basically, you, again, you want to create a new one, click on the pre-selected um, pre widget and choose a photo. Um, I just have this photo that I found on uh, Pinterest, just some positive quotes that I like um, that speak to me rather and then you just click on it and then that's it so I already have it so I just wanted to show you you can also choose a large widget but it is too big for me so I don't really choose that next thing you want to do is click edit again and now you want to click on the plus arrow and you want to add your widget so you want to look for the app widgetsmith and then you want to add either your small, medium, or large widget, whichever you decided to make. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose the original um, clock that um, we made earlier. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, <laughs> we're going to choose the medium widget. And then just like that, it's added onto the screen. And you can move it around. And you can choose the different one that you made if you made multiples. As you saw earlier, I had um, a few different ones. So you can just choose which one you want. And then you can move it around if you want it further up or if you want it further down. Um, it's up to you, basically. You can't do as much customizations on the iPad as you can do on the iPhone. But I do think this is enough for me for it to look really aesthetically pleasing to me and um, I think it just looks really pretty okay now I'm just going to show you where I got my background I just went on Pinterest and searched up aesthetic backgrounds and then the color that I want so as you can see I just chose wallpaper backgrounds iPad aesthetic and then the color that I wanted which is beige and then if I find a photo that or a background that I like, I'll click on it and then I'll scroll through the uh, related images to see if I can find something that I may like a little bit better. And then um, I'll just save it once I found something that I really like. So now you just want to go into the wallpaper and then choose the photo that you've saved. In this case, it's the one that you see now. Um, and then I just chose that for both the home screen and the lock screen. And that's it. 
nothing really too difficult and very simple. I don't want too much clutter. On top of that, I group all of my apps together. I do have a lot of apps, so instead of having it scattered everywhere, I group it based on type. So I have a read and write, a watch, as you can see here, with Netflix and, you know, VLC, a photo edit section, a social section with Instagram and TikTok and stuff, and all of my main apps will go on the home bar, and any apps that I don't really use very often will go on the second page in a separate folder so it doesn't so it doesn't look too cluttered and that's it very easy and simple